This is Hudson Yards. This building was built a couple of years ago. And this is the largest new development of commercial buildings in New York in a long time. Wherever you look, you're going to see buildings around you. Just buildings and buildings. All reaching up to the sky. But what interests me today is that I just noticed some structural cracks on this column that's closest to us. So let's walk close to it and see what's going on. As you can see, these columns have a lot of moment because these are bent columns, which means what you're really seeing are cracks that run across the entire face of the column. Means basically this column is getting bending and its concrete is not weak in resisting tension. So these cracks are appearing. These cracks are running across the entire face of the column. And we will soon see if these cracks are critical if they run across the other side of the column and from this angle it's kind of hard to see but yes you can sort of see that these cracks really are fairly serious cracks you can see that when this column was cast there were air pockets in the concrete the vibration of the concrete was not done correctly so this is a very poor job of of concreting you should not be seeing these holes in concrete because if you see holes on the outside of the concrete you can be pretty sure there are pockets of air inside the concrete which is not managing to take compression at all so all in all this is a very poor job of construction that is right at the bottom of a concrete column in fact if we go up here you can start seeing another crack when it bends and you can still see these air pockets which really means the column wasn't vibrated properly. So this is a little alarming. I hope they did their assessment. But really, you should not be seeing cracks in columns. Like, I see cracks everywhere I look. There's a crack that's running across the face of the column there. And that's the column that I noticed. So, just goes to show that whether the building is old or new, they often have structural issues, not due to the design by the engineer, but really by the construction or the poor construction of the contractor.